The first important component of wine is freshness. Freshness is often described in wine speak as acidity and acidity, freshness, means refreshment. Freshness and acidity is one of the reasons why wine is unique. It gives it its zing, it makes it pleasant on a warm day, it makes it work with food so well. And it really is a primary part of what differentiates wine. Why you can drink wine and you can have another sip and another glass, whereas with other drinks you kind of get tired because many other drinks aren't fresh, lively and vibrant like wine is. The second component is the sweetness of the wine. Whether it is sweet or if it's not really sweet, is it dry, like we described in another episode. The sweetness, the dryness, where it is on that scale, is an important part of the personality of the wine. And sweetness should always be in balance with the acidity and the other flavours, ideally. If it's just overly sweet, just cloyingly sweet, then you lose the freshness and the refreshment factor that wine has, that good wine has. The third element is tannin. Tannin is one of the structural components of wine. It's very apparent in some red wines, some white wines also. See, tannin can come from the grape skins, uh, but it usually does come from the wood tannin, the wood that the wine is matured in. So wine can be low tannin, medium tannin or high tannin. Tannin should be in balance with the wine, or if it's very exaggerated, you know, it's that dryness in your mouth, it's that mouth puckering effect. If it's exaggerated in the wine, you must ask yourself, is there too much tannin? Was there too much um, wood influence? You know, what, has, it been, has the wine been, in a sense, dried out? Or is it a young red that's big, that just needs time to relax, then, then stick it in your cellar and try it again in a few years? And also remember that tannin is an important part of allowing wine to work well with many foods. So tannin is a vital component of wine. The fourth component is actually the one that most people get stuck on and start with and don't go any further on, are the flavours in the wine. The flavours are all the fruit flavours, but they can also be other flavours, what people sometimes call secondary flavours or even tertiary, like third level flavours. Now the flavours should mainly be interesting, they should be pleasant, number one, pleasant, and they should all contribute to making the wine something that has a great personality. Look out for bad flavours. There can be bad flavours in wine, and that means usually there's some problem with the wine. We'll get on to wine problems and faults in a later episode. Flavours should be lovely. They should be uh, enjoyable. That's the key here. They must really be enjoyable. The fifth part is the texture of the wine and the complexity in that texture. This is a combination of all the earlier factors. Do those factors all come together to make a harmonious, interesting package? You know, are, is it a wine that really has a good personality? Now, that is something that only you can answer whether it does for you. And the last element to think about when you're tasting a wine and deciding on its quality is called length. Now, length isn't the height of the wine, it's how long the wine endures as you taste it in your mouth. Does it linger? Does it last? Good wines tend to last longer. That's just the truth of the matter. Uh, short, what they call short wines, are uh, they just drop off, they disappear, they evaporate in your mouth. Can be a lot of fun, can be a quick flirt, but long wines are wines of duration and of power and persistence. Those are quality wines. So that's today's message. When you're tasting wines, especially in groups, don't get stuck in all the superficial babble around, do you taste this, do you taste that? Just rather analyze the wine in terms of its structure. Sure, look for flavors in the sense that you want the wine to have flavors that you enjoy, but in terms of assessing whether the wine is a good wine, an average wine, an excellent wine, think about the structural parts of the wine and decide whether they, the wine actually ticks those boxes. That'll get you a lot further in your assessment than just deciding whether there are banana flavors, tropical fruits, or indeed some grassiness in the wine. That stuff comes and goes, but wine with structure endures.